What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the player of the week on court stars. Now these players were originally released way back in March. Um, so if you missed out on those, this is kind of, look, they're re-rolling the dice lads. They're letting people that are newcomers or if you missed out on one of these players and you really wanted to get a player, um, these players will be carrying over. And once they get, aw get away with the team playstyle proficiency that you're seeing here, um, I think that these cards are going to probably lose a little bit of... Um, I mean what made them good and a little bit more value so I'm interested interested to see what kind of changes that they're going to be making right but as I said these released back in the 9th of March I will do the other pack as well for newcomers and for people that missed out on these the first time these released way back as well in March 23rd they were the player of the week selection right and you were only able to spin for three of these at a time back uh, when they were first released but you can actually clear this agent and clear this agent if you so want to um, and look for 20 for 2000 coins right if you're going to be opening all of these and for 2000 coins you can guarantee yourself a sala a pavard a delict i would probably put rafinha depoy and uh uh simmons in there as well and maybe trossard as well is not a bad player you know you can get six good players for 2000 coins it's not a bad trade-off but to be honest with you at this stage in the game there's too many players in here. Like, I, I opened this one and I got this guy, um, Savignon Blanc, as I said, the wine. Uh, you know, and that's the risk that you're taking. Even though he's got some good skills and good player ability, um, he looks very angry there. But, I mean, these guys aren't going to change the dial for you. And I think when the game actually releases uh, eFootball24's update and it updates to that, I think that these cards are going to get left behind. So I think they're just kind of releasing these now to give everybody a chance to keep content ticking over. That's basically what I think they're doing. Um, so anyway, right. I'm not going to even bother uh, reviewing any of, the, any of the back eight here. I mean, yes, Nelson is a good player. He's a prolific winger. 88 acceleration, 84 balance, and 82 ball control with 87 dribbling. Standard winger. Um, he has super sub as well, which makes him a little bit better than he, than he should be. Uh, Mancini as well at the back, 90 aggression, fairly good acceleration and speed, good height, got good player skills as well with heading, blocker, interception, area of superiority, only thing missing is acrobatic clearance, you can't give any skills to these cards, so I think that that's a bit of a bust as well, and the rest of the players, listen, I mean, you can actually get some really good players out of this, obviously his pace is, is lacking there in the standard form, but he's a whole player, Vincino's not bad, Sirigu's not bad, all of these guys aren't bad, Openda is a pretty interesting one as well, 93 acceleration with 80 one balance and 82 finishing and of course he's got super sub as well the standard form does kill this card a little bit but if you are looking for an Mbappe super sub this is kind of a guy that you could uh, use if you do spin for him in your free opening uh, Jose Sa and Sirigu just standard keepers Simmons and Daniello Pereira are very interesting cards right Pereira is a destroyer but he actually acts like an anchorman because his defense is so high and he's got every defensive stat that you could possibly want apart from acrobatic clearance and he can play CB so he is a good player I definitely Definitely recommend him if you do get him you don't need to touch anything with this card his acceleration if you put him as a center back is pretty decent uh, at 70 you know with the boost and you're also going to have heading interception blocker area superiority fighting spirit and of course one touch pass with way to pass as well which is quite nice right he doesn't have acrobatic clearance but that's not a huge deal because this guy is kind of a bit of a, a bit of a beast right so i do recommend using him if you get him simmons there has been way better versions of simmons out since this especially the ones that you can train up this this guy doesn't have super sub but he does have double touch one touch pass and of course he has that all important no look pass and true passing which seem to be uh very unique animations for this card and these type of cards um but again, this release back in the 16th of March and there has been better versions of him out there. And even his standard card is quite decent. Chilwell, even though he's down as a creative playmaker as a left midfielder, I would be playing him left back and he's just average, lads. He does have blocker and interception and one touch pass as well as pinpoint crossing and early crosser. So if you are spamming balls into the box to a target man, he's pretty decent. Uh, not to really shout home about. Uh, I would say the same for Rafinha. He's just your outright, you know, 88 dribbling, 81 balance, 90 acceleration and speed. He does have standard form. He does have double touch he does he does have one touch pass um he doesn't really have anything that makes him special i would say that there's a lot of better standard uh wingers out there the pie this guy is pretty decent he's a gold poacher good stats um good player skills good everything really doesn't have super sub which would have been nice on this card i think it would have been again kind of like that mbappe kind of super sub that you can throw on and pretty much just link in interchanging with uh that little bit of variety if mbappe gets tired or Romario gets tired you're running gun uh, type of striker 
but yeah nothing to really shout home about Trossard is the same very high acceleration balance and dribbling excellent uh, all-round player I would say um but again, kind of like falls in between the cracks because he's a deep line forward, which is which is a bit disappointing, to be fair. Um, and then on to the next few here, right? So we've got the four here. The big two boys, I suppose, are Delict and Salah. Everyone probably has a free version of Pavard if they've been playing the game for a while. But as I said, this video is more for people that have missed out on these before and that are looking for a very solid centre back. I just don't rate this Pavard, lads. I mean, he's a build up, he's a build up centre back, and he does have interception, man marking, aerial superiority, fighting spirit, acrobatic clearance. And he also has a um, sliding tackle, right? And he's got unwavering form. But I just don't like that lack of aggression on this card, especially when you can't train him up and you can't give him blockers. So I do feel like this card is a little bit below even his standard card. And this is kind of the, the thing that when you look at a card like this and you're like, oh, 94 overall, beast. Um, but he's not really. I know he's got good jump, head and stamina as well as speed. But defensively, he's not the strongest card. So I would definitely think that there's better versions of him out there if you want to save your coins. Otavia, this guy is, is pretty decent as well. I mean, he's a whole player left midfielder, kind of like Foden um, in how he plays. You know, small, uh, very good feet, uh, very good player skills, one touch pass, double touch, soul control. And of course, Marseille turn with fighting spirit as well as acrobatic finishing. So he's kind of unique enough as, a, as an AMF. I definitely would play him there. But nothing to really shout home about again. I mean, all of these cards, lads, are a little bit, I would say, outdated for where the game is now at the moment. So that leaves us with the Lick. Now, I have been sleeping on the Lick for a long time until I got him in my Road to Glory uh, squad. And he is an absolute unit, lads. You kind of look at this card and you're saying, right, he's got everything perfect apart from, I would say... Um, heading which is kind of like complemented by the fact that he is very tall and he's got the heading player skill but he's also got acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority every single defense stat he has um apart from sliding tackle which you don't really need um everything else is 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 on you know is just perfect for this card 88 defense awareness this is like a build you know that you would make if you know how you're playing the game so Konami have really got this card right especially with the way that the lick plays as a build-up center back you need that aggression tackling and defensive awareness all above 85 which he has jumping at 86 and heading at 85 all the sweet spot stats are there as well as his ai and his player skills insane and trust me he won't let you down him and Marquinhos I think are top dogs at center back at the moment if you're starting off and then we have the bane of my existence Salah no look I know that he's a Liverpool uh, player I've kind of slept on Salah and I will try give him a good go um I'm going to be doing like a viewer's choice player squad selection so I'm going to be picking players that you want me to use and playing through a league with that um and I probably will end up using Salah because I do I am down on him lads but his stats are absolutely insane I mean 90 finishing 90 dribbling effectively 88 balancing balance and then you've got 87 and 86 acceleration you've also got one touch pass long range shooting rising shot long range curler and outside curler the problem with Salah lads in my opinion is the fact that he's a prolific winger and a lot of people play him as just pure out wide because he can play as a CF or an SS, especially this card here. There is versions of him that can, but this card here is a big issue that way because you are better off using him as kind of like a messy type cut in and score, you know? Um, so I would play him in as far as you possibly can into the center of the pitch. And the also, also the big problem with Salah as well is the long range shots and the curl shots, finesse shots, whatever you want to call them, they've been seriously nerfed for the last three months. Um, so yeah, that is kind of it for me, lads. Look, it's a good pack, especially if you're a newcomer. If you're a newcomer and you're able to pack the Lick, Salah, and maybe um, I would say Simmons and Pereira, they're probably the four best here. Obviously, there's been more versions of Pavard. If you don't have him, he's a pretty decent version, but I'd say the standard is better. This pack here that we're going to talk about next is probably better, I would say, um, just because of a couple of unique players that you have there, including Cristiano Ronaldo, Saka, Rice, and Kessie. This is a really good pack, lads, this one. I think this is a better pack by a good bit um, because you've got Sabitzer there as well, who's an absolute beast. You've got Kubo center forward. This is a really good pack, which I would definitely recommend. Sabazali, uh, the new sign-in. Uh, Douglas Louise is fantastic. I actually have a few of these players because I spun from. Um, so yeah, this is definitely the one to go for. But I will be back with that quite soon. Until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe. Keep it locked for more reviews. Peace.